Welcome to episode one of Bob's Psycho Barn vlog. And let's go see what we're up to today. All right, Dad, what you doing? Fixing your suspension. <laughs> All right, so my suspension's a little too stiff. This is the KTM 150 XCW. Um, and we're gonna take it off. How, what are we gonna do to it? Well, take off, uh, take it. <clears throat> Problem is, it's got the forks, are, uh, the springs are too stiff for the forks for your weight. So, as a first step, I'm going to take one leg off. I'm going to just take the whole spring out completely. Okay. And then we're going to check it from there. Remember, these springs have been lower, or cut down, lower, so we can lower the front forks. Mm -hmm. So, um, so anyway, we'll see. Uh, we'll take that one out. That'll give us a baseline what we need to do with, with the springs. Okay. All right. So we've got the compression side off not the rebound side and dad's taking it apart now and we're gonna take the spring out the spring's already out. oh he's putting it back together now i'm falling behind oh yeah here's the spring that's the one we cut down guys got any questions about this comment below i'm going to let you know how it works out on this bike okay so here this mark white mark right here is where i was earlier when i jumped the teeter-totter over there so right now i'm not adding any gas i'm just feeling out compressing the springs and it's a lot easier. I'm not trying to do anything other than get the right rhythm for compressing the springs. And there's the wheelie. And that was so much easier. But the power's not really there. Something that I noticed. I mean, that's always been the problem. It's a 150. The power's not really there on the bottom end. So, we're going to change that up. All right, I'm going to go try the loop section. Okay. Now, this felt pretty good with the suspension. Before my 250, this was so... The bike would bounce up and the, the whoops would actually bounce off the ground. And now I went through there and it was so smooth. Really enjoyed it. So now I've adjusted my thing on my suspension to see how far it goes down when I jump on the front forks. And we have our mark from our last one. And we're hoping it should go about all the way down. No surprise there, all the way down. Almost. Yeah, that's about right. It felt good, you know? It felt... All right. I like the suspension. It felt pretty good. On to the next project. We got a new sprocket. It's 12... 12 teeth and that's going to change my gear ratio so that second gear has a little more oomph and I might be able to do a wheelie now. We'll see. Hey guys, this is the Dirt Bike Girl Dad. Uh, we just did a sprocket change, uh, front sprocket. Yeah, that's a that's a 12 tooth sprocket and uh, rear sprocket's the same. Now when you change the front sprocket by one tooth, it's actually the same as changing the rear sprocket by three and a half or so. So it's a big change in the, sprocket, in the size of the gearing. So we're gonna see how she likes it. So I've definitely got a little more torque. It's starting to get there. I mean, I wouldn't know, but Dad says it's starting to get there, and I like the torque at the bottom end. I feel like I need it because I don't weigh enough to use my weight to throw around and make things happen. 
I just wheelied over the hill. I haven't been able to do that yet and I've been working on it for weeks. So finally able to do it. Oh, that feels a lot more torquey. Like I feel the power now. <laughs> I think we still need to, it looks like it's running really rich right off the bottom. Okay. So I think what we need to do now, <laughs> uh, pull the carb, go back in that carb and see if we can't um did we drop the needle the last time i think we've dropped the needle so all dropping the, way down. the needles guys makes it leaner we might be at the end of the dropping the needle <laughs> thing okay um but anyway that's what i think we ought to do and see where we go from there oh i know what uh maybe changing just the out the pilot jet that's a that's the jet that activates right off the throttle the bottom of the throttle so maybe we ought to do that too so anyway, I think it just needs to be leaned out a little bit and then it'll be easier to get that front end up. She's trying it out now since it's kind of cleaned out a little bit and she's giving a little bit more gas, trying to get up a little bit in the torque range and stuff. It does feel a lot better now. It starts raining as we're taking this video, and I keep on riding. I didn't want to get off of it. It felt so good. Well, I'm getting some movement. I'm getting there. Now that's a wheelie over the hill. Oh, this thing feels great now. Like I said, I don't want to get off. Hope you enjoyed our vlog from today. And guys, remember, if you're having a bad day, it's only one down and the rest is up. It's not blowing as much smoke right off the of idle. Yeah. See, it sounds good, right? Yeah, it sounds okay.